discolored or intrinsically stained teeth are a fairly common problem in dogs and to a lesser extent cats. Lack of clinical signs other than the discoloration should not be misconstrued as a benign state. Most of these teeth are dead and infected and are in need of treatment. This is a representation of a canine tooth in a dog. This is the crown of the tooth and this is the root. Within this root is a root canal that comes up into the crown of the tooth in an area called the pulp chamber. This root canal is supplied with blood vessels and nerves that come in from the maxillary or the mandibular artery and come all the way up here. Overlying the crown of this tooth is a very thin layer of something called enamel, which is less than a millimeter thick in dogs and cats. Between the root canal and the enamel, this area is called dentin. Dentin is a somewhat living structure inasmuch that it has millions of little teeny tiny dentinal tubules running at right angles from the root canal out to the periphery. When a tooth dies, the blood pressure within the tooth increases. Because the tooth is a rigid space, it cannot swell like in a leg or an arm. So what happens is that blood is forced out into these little teeny tiny dentinal tubules and then what you will see is a tooth bruise. Here are some examples of intrinsically stained and dead teeth. Here we see a lower canine, an upper fourth premolar, and finally an upper incisor. Once the tooth is dead, the bacteria within the bloodstream can gain access through what used to be the blood supply, thus infecting this tooth. At this point, this infected root canal system becomes a bacterial fortress allowing the bacteria to come out into the bone again, creating infection. Here is an x-ray of a discolored tooth which is severely infected. This process of bacteria going from the blood into a root canal system is called anachoresis. Eventually, again, this bacteria can get into the bloodstream and go off and cause infection to the vital organs. Treatment for this infection is, again, two options. One, we can drill into this tooth and remove all of the soft tissue. And then, once we've got it cleaned and sterilized, put our own filling material in, which is inert rubber, the body doesn't know it's there, and a sealer cement which acts as a cork in a bottle of champagne, thus blocking off this infection, allowing the body to come in and heal any infection that might be there. That is called a root canal therapy. Or you can extract the tooth. For larger teeth like canines and upper fourth premolars, this is not the preferred method because these are important teeth.